Hello everybody, good morning to you guys. I hope everybody is doing well. By the way, don't forget today's Parashat Haman. If you didn't say it, you could always say it. Just follow all the different texts that you received on the WhatsApp <clears throat> and you should be able to say the right thing. We're going to continue and finish Be'ezrat Hashem with the Melacha of Dash today. And we will talk specifically about one topic, which is crushing snow on Shabbat. So even though it seems very far-fetched, then squeezing fruits, However, Chachamim made a takana that by saying, by letting a person crushing the snow on Shabbat to extract the liquid, people may think that it's also allowed to squeeze fruits on Shabbat. There is also another issue called Nolad, that it's creating a new entity because it's uh, basically transforming the snow from a solid into a liquid. But we're going to focus more on the first reason, which is the famous Gezera. Now, according to Shulchan Aruch, it makes no difference whatsoever if you are doing it inside a uh, cup of water, which means that you don't really see the actual water coming out of the uh, ice cube, or you're doing it by itself, in all cases it would be a sur once you do it by a dime. If it happens by itself, it would be, uh, it would be allowed even if it's not inside a uh, cup of water, meaning full of water. According to the Ramah and the Ashkenazim, it's a sur even if it's done by itself, if, it, if it's happening by itself, <coughs> if it's not inside a liquid, and you could see how the ice cube transform itself into liquid. Now, we should also mention that the, uh, the halakha will extend, to, will, will only apply to crushing the snow itself or crushing the ice. If, however, you are going to break the ice in order to have access to the water underneath, even if it's mehubar, which means even if it's to the ground, attached to the ground, like, can you imagine like a lake that is uh, completely icy and you would have water underneath breaking the ice that is mamash as if it was Bechobar la Karka, it would be still allowed because we don't see it as something attached to the ground, we just see it as solid water. And this is why it would be Mutar if you are breaking it and not crushing it. I want to wish you all a beautiful day.